In FIFA 14, we really wanted to allow our fans to have the ability to unleash that perfect strike. And this year, we've done that with two big features. The first one is Pure Shot, and the second one is Real Ball Physics. Pure Shot brings something to the table in 14 that we didn't have in FIFA 13. Players have the intelligence to be able to prepare before they approach the ball and adjust their stride to be able to get a perfect strike. What we wanted to do is replicate how a real footballer shoots a ball and how he adjusts his stride to contact the ball in the, in the most appropriate way. So if I'm a right-footed player, I'm gonna make sure that I adjust my angle for the goal so that I can hit it as effectively as possible with my strong foot. And that's what we've added to FIFA 14. We have new logic that, that allows the player to understand where he is in relation to the ball, in relation to the goal, where his feet are at, and how he needs to adjust himself to get that perfect strike. In addition to adding Pure Shot in FIFA 14, we've also gone back and looked at our ball physics and how they work. So what you're going to start to see is a whole bunch of diversity in the kinds of trajectories that you get when you take a strike at goal. We're going to see a lot more swerving shots. We're going to see our dipping shots behave a lot more like we do in the real world. We're going to see behaviors that some of the stars are able to create, like Gareth Bale when he has that knuckleball shot. We've actually modeled the airflow around the ball this year so that we understand the turbulence when a player hits a ball with no spin. So the end result in FIFA 14, when you couple Pure Shot together with the changes of real ball physics, and then you also layer on the kicking error system that we've been working on over the last six, seven years in FIFA, and all of the effects that that has for creating variety, and I really think this year we're going to see some of the best goals we've ever seen in FIFA to date.